U.S. health officials recommend voluntary at-home quarantine for travelers from West Africa, including health care workers who are at the highest risk for coming down with Ebola and monitoring for those at lower risk. Amid a controversy over whether to quarantine healthcare workers returning from Ebola-stricken nations, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says it depends. The agency issued new guidelines Monday that take into account an individual's own chance of contracting the disease. We base our decisions on science and experience. The CDC says a high-risk person is someone who had a known exposure, a needle stick, or inadequate protective gear while caring for an Ebola patient. The new recommendation? A voluntary 21-day home quarantine. The CDC says most returning doctors and nurses, however, would be considered at some risk and not require self-quarantine. They're leaving it to state and local public health officials to assess and actively monitor these workers through daily calls. We find that uh, state health departments generally do follow CDC guidelines. Uh, if they wish to be more stringent than what CDC recommends, that's within their authority and the system of government that we have. New Jersey is taking a harder line, isolating a nurse over the weekend at this Newark hospital. Casey Hickox flew to Newark International from Sierra Leone. State health officials say she had a fever that has since gone away. Hickox is now heading to Maine, where she will be under quarantine at home, but she says she was treated poorly through the ordeal. If you live outside the state and you're symptomatic, we're not letting you go on to public transportation. Some aid organizations worry health care workers may be discouraged from going to West Africa. That is is uh, an undue and unnecessary uh, step uh, to protect the American people. Other groups worry a quarantine could stigmatize people who only want to help a desperate situation. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.